Hey y'all, it's the official Bianca Media. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's the summertime, y'all. It is hot, hot, hot. And so I've been wearing my natural hair out. Yes, on television, the curls are free. We have freed the curls. And I've been getting so many questions about how do I maintain it? How do I style them for television? So we made a tutorial for you. I got you, girl. You ain't got to worry. Um, this is just how I style my curls. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy. All right, so I've already washed and conditioned my hair, deep condition if it's that time of the week for you to do that. Start over. All right, so I've already washed and conditioned my hair. Uh, for this time of the month, it wasn't time for me to deep condition my hair, so I just used a regular conditioner, left it in, and then rinsed it out. But if it's that time for you to do a protein treatment or deep condition your hair, then of course go ahead and do that. So I um, got my hair in this towel. Yes, I know it should be in a t-shirt. Just, just give me a break, y'all, okay? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you all my braid out that I do for on air, um, really easy to maintain. So my hair is a little bit dry. I have a squirt bottle to moisten it some more. But what I like to do is a deep part. And um, it just gives you a little bit more volume, you know, when you're kind of teasing it out just a little bit. And then, so I'm gonna show you all the products that I use, adjust to your own hair texture and porosity and all that goodness. There's enough natural YouTube bloggers out there you don't need to hear me do it. Um, but you can kind of see that I have like four A-ish, three C-ish type hair. Um, you know, of course, a little more curly in the back, more defined curls in the back. The front is usually where my leave out is, so it's a little bit straighter um, in the front, you know, where there's just heat damage or whatever. But in the back, you can tell that's where like most of the curls are. So I'm gonna use the lock method, leave-in, oil, and then cream and styler. So the leave-in conditioner that I'm using, it's the Garnier Fructis Curl Nourish. And I really like this because it's pretty thick. And I feel like the moisture does seep into my hair and like really moisturize my hair. And being out here in the desert, you need like a really intense leave-in conditioner because the air is so dry. Um, I'm not much of a product junkie like my mom is. My mom has tried everything underneath the sun. So I usually go to her <laughs> like what to pick out. And I have a couple of friends that are hair bloggers and so I go to them. But I was just in CVS the other day and saw this. And I was like, you know what, let me try it. It's called Air Dry Buttercream. So it's pretty thick and great for our hair, even though it's Garnier Fructis, you know. And uh, so I'm gonna use that as my leave-in. Then I have like a little bit of oil. This is just grow. just a little bit of that to, um, in the uh, leave-in conditioner there and then for styler I'm going to use a mixture of this um, eco styler gel and this curl enhancing smoothie um, I only have a little bit of this so I'm just going to kind of just use this up as like the styler and just so, you know soak in more moisture all right so let's go ahead and get started let's get my water bottle all right, so yeah, I've been doing braid outs a lot easier. Um, it's more manipulation in the beginning rather than in the morning time. In the morning time, I don't have time to be wetting and picking out. I just needed to undo my braids and then it's curled and it's good to go. So I just typically do two braids on this side, two on this side, and then four in the back. And then at the end of the braid, I use this perm rod to create more of the you know, kind of more defined curls. Just because, of, especially in the front, you know, my ends aren't as curly as the back. So this helps it look uniformed. All right, and I am using a Demi brush here to detangle. So yeah, let's get started. We're gonna speed this up. Do I wanna do this side? Or do I wanna do this side? Um. You know what, I did this side this week, I'm gonna switch it. So I like to do a deep part, like I said. All right, so we're gonna divide that out and then we're gonna put all the rest of this up. Wet my hair some more because you want your hair to be damp when you're adding in the product. We 
got some curls. We got some curls popping, y'all. Oh my God. All right, so now that that's wet and detangled, we're gonna take the leave-in conditioner. And we're gonna make sure every strand is saturated. Okay, a little bit of oil here. Now it's time for the gel. Ooh, and this is a fresh gel, y'all. I'm gonna mix these two just because I'm trying to use up this and then of course this is our styler that we're using I kind of like mix them and again I'm not a professional y'all like but this is just what I do and I find that works <laughs> so and that helps keep the style for a couple of days all right so now that that is all mixed in on each strand All right, now I'm gonna divide this section into two and then braid them. All right, so now that I have these two braids, pretty simple. Um, you can do two strand twist if you want, that's up to you. Um, I think for me, I like the braided effect more. It gives it more like wavy, mermaidy than spiral curls. I like the different texture, but um, really up to you. You can do the two strand twist if you like, um, and then still just add the perm rod on the end. So also, I didn't braid all the way down. Look at that little curl. Can you see that? Ooh, it looks juicy. Okay. See it? I hope you can. There we go. Um, so yeah, so now I don't braid it all the way down to the end. I leave about that much empty or uh, not braided empty <laughs> so <laughs> um i then wrap it around the perm rod make sure you get it like all flat and the product will help keep it flat and be sure that the ends are all even and then i bring the rod up to about here hold on let's see if i can get that in the frame for y'all I'm like here and my arm is covering it. Okay, so I braid it to about here. You can bring the perm rod in, but I don't like to um, layer up when I'm wrapping the hair around the curler because it'll take longer to dry. So that's why I leave that part unbraided so that it's nice and fanned out and air can circulate through it and it'll dry faster. If you wanna take the perm rod all the way up to you know your roots, then that's fine. But for me, I take it about not even halfway like this is almost halfway but i would say if you took it up about a third of the way you're good to go so about a third of the way max half because you don't want to like overlap that the hair that's already on the rod too many times it's going to take too long to dry all right and then i have these two colors they're the gray ones and then these pink ones the pink ones are smaller so uh, i actually should have put the pink ones in the front whatever all right so we'll put another gray one back here hair got didn't get braided so I'm doing this in my room y'all and I got like a little piece see this little strand of hair <laughs> actually we're not gonna put it in there we'll put it in the other I don't know how that piece of hair didn't get braided I'm doing this in my room as y'all can see I would usually be in the bathroom but I wanted to switch it up for y'all. All right, so you see how I braided about a third of the way, just to make sure it's all nice and rolled on there. All right, so we're going to the other side of my head. I'll check it out.
All right, the braids and the perm rods are in. I'm gonna let these dry. Um, you wanna at least, depending on your hair texture and type and all that kind of stuff, allow enough time for them to dry so that they come out fully developed and curated. <laughs> what am I saying? But you know what I'm saying, our hair really just needs to dry fully for them to come out perfectly. Uh, so I'm actually gonna zap this with a blow dryer for a little bit and then um, before I go to sleep, of course I will, wear my bonnet good old bonnet or sleep on a silk pillow um, your choice but you just want to make sure that this hair stays hydrated um, and it doesn't get frizzy but we put enough product in you see it's pretty juicy um, but you will see it in the morning okay bye So um, as you can see, I picked up my hair. I'm going to wait to finish picking it out once I get to work. So we'll do that while it's at work. For the most part, it's dry. There is like one little kind of moist spot, but I think that's just the product. Um, so I'll show you the finished thing when we get to work. All right, see you in a second. Hey, good morning, John. To all my parents out there, I know your kids have done all and learned all the TikTok dances they can. You've made all the slime you can. Parents, you've completed so many levels on the Peloton bike. It's time to come here to Wet n Wild. And we have several fires that uh, happened overnight and this morning, so across the valley. So our first one we're gonna talk about, a house fire in Henderson is now out this morning after it burned for nearly three hours. 